Hi guys, welcome to today's GS tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to use a fairly new QGIS plugin called the Extractor plugin. You can subscribe to this channel to follow all my previous useful GS tips and tutorials. You can also enroll for a course at YSGS by following this link. I'll provide all useful links in the video description below. So let's get started. The Extractor allows you to extract data from raster images based on points, lines, and polygon vectors and the application of zonal statistics. Its usefulness lies in the ability to work with a range of raster sources, making it ideal for time series analysis and landscape studies. Some of the applications of this extractor plugin are time series analysis, where users may need to extract data from multiple raster layers to track changes over time. And also, it's also useful in landscape study, where users may need to extract data on environmental variables such as elevation, slope, and soil properties from raster layers and then analyze these data to understand patterns of biodiversity ecosystem functions, or other landscape scale pro processes. Extractor has the ability to extract data from multiple raster layers using points, lines, and polygon features. A special shout out to Stanislas Mahusi for developing this useful QGIS plugin. So let's go to QGIS and look at today's exercise. Then to open QGIS and create a blank new project. So what you want to do is you want to look for our data first and see if your data is okay. So I'm going to add vector layer that you're going to be using in this exercise. So I'm going to go to layer, add layer, add vector layers. And I'm going to browse for where my vector layers are. I've already created a folder called extract exercise shape files. So I have my shape files here in the extract exercise. And I have my project area, sample points, sample lines, and sample polygons that I want to use in this exercise. So you can, you need to create some of these uh, vector layers first, or if you have already uh, created them, it's okay now you can uh, use them in your project. So we have our project area, the sample points, lines, and polygons. Then I'm going to also add a raster layer that you're going to be using. So I'm going to go to also layer, add layer, add raster layer. This is actually the raster layer that you want to get the values of. And I have an NDVI raster here. So I'm going to click on open, add, close. So we have our NDVI. Uh, <coughs> raster layer here and we have our sample points sample polygons let me just move them up these are the areas we want to get the values of the sample polygons so then there is a sample points so these are the points you also want to get the values of and do some little bit of computation and then we have also the sample lines that we're going to be using in this exercise and ideally what we have in these uh, the attribute table is not nothing much. You can you open the attribute table, you can see we have just the points with the names A, A to uh, A to K. And then uh, you also have the lines here. When I open the attribute table, you can see it's line A, line B, and line C. We have three lines here. And then we have the sample polygons. And when I open the attribute table, you can see I have zone A, zone B, zone C. So we want to just get some of these values here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to now go to the installation of the extractor plugin. So to install the extractor plugin, you're go to go, you're going to go to plugins, manage and install plugins, and then go to all, then select extractor, under all select extractor. And you can see we have the extractor here. So uh, and it gives you a description about what the extractor plugin does. So far, it has 905 downloads. And it's a very, very useful plugin according to the ratings that you can see here, developed by Stanislas. So I'm going to click on install plugin. You can read more information about this plugin here. So now you, you can see the plugin is installed successfully. I'm going to click on close. When you go to the raster menu, you will find the extractor here. So let's see how we can use this extractor plugin. I'm going to select extractor. And uh, you can see we have two options. We have this for a single uh, image or raster file. Then there is multiple raster file. For the multiple raster file, we're going to do that in another exercise. But now let's just look at the single raster file that we have. Like, for example, we have the NDVI. So what you're going to do is I'm going to check the single because we want to just use the NDVI. So I'm going to check single. Then I'm going to browse for where this is. 
So I'm going to click on the browse button and go to the extractor raster and I select the raster file, which is the NDVI. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go, what are we, am I going to be using to extract it with? So we, I have three options. I have the sample points, sample lines, and sample polygons. So let's, let, let me click on the drop down here and you see with the options we have. We have the sample points, we have the points, lines, and polygons. So let's start with the points, sample points. I'm going to select the point. Then I'm going to browse the point, where the point is. So I'm going to click on the browse button here. Then I'm going to go to the extractor, shape files, because we are dealing now with shape files. Then I'm going to select the sample point. This is the one that I want to use to get the values. So I'm going to click on open. And then you can see we have the ID. And when I click on the drop down, you also have the name. So I want to use the names. So I'm going to select the names. Then after that, uh, I'm going to just click on extract. And you will see as soon as I click on extract, it extracts the values within all these areas. You can see it by, uh, from point uh, A to point K. So if you want to now use this in a report, you can click on the save button here and you will save it in form of a CSV. So I'm going to create a new folder here and I'm going to call them CSVs. CSVs, then I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to just say these are the points. These are the point samples. So I'm going to click on save and you can actually access them now as a, from your CSV folder. So the next thing I want to do is let me change this. Instead of using a point, I want us to use a line. So let me say I want to use a line. And you can see as soon as I select the line, now we have another option here called, do you want to select uh, from the whole of the data or do you want to just do some zonal statistics? Actually for the point data, you can't do zonal statistics, but for the line and the polygon, you can actually do zonal statistics. So let's just say for the whole data, then I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to select the sample line now because I'm going to de be dealing with the lines and click on open. Then I'm going to say also the name. Then I'm going to click on extract. And you can now see within the line, line A, all of this is within line A. It has all these values in these coordinates. You can see it gives you the coordinates of where the value is. Then go to line B. You'll see the coordinates and you'll see the values. So line along line B, I think it is under the vertex. You'll see uh, these values. And then you have also line C. So you can do the same thing. You can say, I want to save this data the way it is. I can click on the save button. Then go to the CSV or CSV. Then I say the line, the line, which is the line CSV. I click on save and I have my data saved uh, in a CSV. So then we can also do zonal statistics. So let's look at the line. I'm going to say, instead of using whole data, I'm going to change it to zonal statistics. And when you click on zonal statistics, now you have another option that appears down here. And this option, you can click on the drop down here and you can select what you want to see. So I also want to see the mean value, the maximum value, and the mean. Is that okay? You can also add any other that you want, but for this case, I'm just going to, I want to, I want to see the minimum value, the maximum value, and the mean of these values. So I'm going to click on, uh, and I'm going to use the name still under the line. I'm going to click on extract, and you can now see under line A, the minimum value is this, the maximum value is that, and the mean is that. So I can also click on save. And now I can say the line, line, line statistics, right? Line, that. So these are the line statistics. I'm going to click on save. So I have the three files now. Then we have another option now. We go to the polygon. So I'm going to select the polygon again. Instead of the line, I'm going to say the polygon now. And you can see the, zone, the, the polygon also still has the zonal statistics, but I'm going to start with the whole data. Then I'm going to browse for the polygon. So I'm going to click on that. Then select the sample polygon. Then click on open. And then I'm going to use the name still in the sample polygon. Then I'm going to click on extract. And you can see it has extracted in all the zones. The zone A that we had has all these values. Uh, there are very many values. Zone B also has these values, and Zone C has its own values. So we can also save this. 
if you want to use it but i'm not going let me let me just, just click on save <coughs> and save them as uh, polygons right Poly polygons so i've already saved that then now i want to do the statistics of these polygons so instead of using the whole data i'm going to say zonal statistics and then i'm going to still use the same computations the mean max and mean max and mean so you can add other options if you want if you want the median value also it's okay with that then i'm going to select polygon still you need to use the name click on extract and you can now see it has added the median so zone a the minimum value is this the maximum value is this the mean is this and the median is this zone b zone c and so on and so forth i'm going to click on save then i'm going to save the polygons statistics right that's and you can see this is very very useful we can even use the last option to get this just this uh, the general statistics of the overall polygon so under the ndvi value i'm going to select polygon then zonal statistics then this time i'm going to say the project area this is the whole project area let me just see if it's going to give me some of these statistics i'm going to click on open then you can see i have the id class area perimeter and area in hectares i'm going to just use the id so i'm going to click on extract because it's just one uh, one variable so you can see the whole area the whole project area has a minimum value of this a maximum value of that the mean of this and the median of that i can save that for the project area extractor csv and i'm going to say project area starts right so you can actually see how the useful this uh, plugin is if we could go and access our csvs I'm going to access our csvs you can see we have the uh, line statistics i open the csv you'll see the statistics of the line here close that you can go to the points and see the values that are within the the different areas you can see the latitude longitude and the value so it's quite a very useful plugin when it comes to doing uh, these kinds of uh, statistics and also extraction of values so in our next lesson we're going to learn about how to uh, do computation using the uh, multiple imagery that's it for today's exercise if you found this video useful and you want to learn more on gis subscribe to my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up otherwise i'm just happy you're here see you in my next video